What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ascalon, back with part three of Mundown. Down. Um, I apologize, it's been a little bit of some time um, since part two, but once again, I was busy with track. Uh, we're actually getting ready for sectionals this weekend. So I'm um, trying to you know, qualify for state, which would be next week. So I may not be able to record um, many parts of Mundown in the next week or two. But I do want to get this playthrough over pretty quickly because MLB The Show is coming out soon. And so I want to start a playthrough on that. So without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get into part three. All right. Um, I thought about something um, when I was kind of editing part two. So let's go on outside of the house first and foremost. And then I want to see if this works. So let me go into my inventory. And since I need tobacco for the pipe... I was wondering if there's a way to, well, that got out of the inventory, a way to like open this up. Cause I just got a feeling like this is a cigarette. So it may have some tobacco in it. So let's see, A doesn't work. All right, B goes back there. Let's see, Y goes to the journal. All right, so I guess there's not anything I can do with that right now. Okay, I was wondering if I could like, you know, like open it up, manipulate it or something. Um, and pull tobacco out of this to put in the pipe, but I guess that's not going to work. All right, so we left off. Um, I kind of explored the area around here. Um, and then I saw a few things here that I was wondering if I should check out before I go to Grandpa's grave, like this area here. And then there's also this area here. All right, this one's a little closer, so let's go check this area out first here. Let's see what this is here. All right, this looks very similar to the other place that we, I went to earlier. All right. I'm gonna actually try to record, if I have enough time this evening, I'll record two parts of Mundown. So part three and part four. Huh, that's weird. There's lights that work in this. All right. Let's go underneath really quick. Uh-oh, I'm moving kind of slow. Actually, you know what? Let's go back and turn the light back on. Yeah, that, that fear thing, like, when it started to move slow, like, when he gets a little afraid. So, obviously, I think he's kind of afraid of the dark. What's that? Pick up place yeah. item. Oh, cool. I now have... Pitchfork. Okay. Hold. I kind of missed what that said. Okay, so right triggers to attack. Okay. All right. Yeah, I kind of missed what was on the screen. All right, well, I think that's all I can get there. All right, so let's keep going. What's that music playing? That's weird. It's like somebody's singing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, LB puts it away. All right, and then LB... Put, pulls it back out. All right. Okay, so let me put that up right now. I guess I don't really need that right now. I guess that's for the enemies later. That will eventually come out, I guess. All right, let's keep moving. I don't want to see what's down here. This is very ominous with all the fog here. Um, I don't like this. One bit. Wow, it's really hard to see here. I'm not moving slower though, so it doesn't seem like... Uh-uh, no, <laughs> no sir. The door just opened by itself. Um, Do I wanna go in there? I'm a brave man, so I will go in there. This guy ain't afraid of nothing. All right, I can burn the hay there. I don't know what the point of that it will be. Let's check out this stuff first. Oh, it sounded a little weird when I walked across it, but that could just be the hay sounds. Okay, what the heck is this? It's like some sort of torture device. Or maybe some sort of uh, table to make stuff. Alright, what's that? Hey. Okay. Oh, okay, that's another um, little pitchfork thing. I still don't understand what burning the hay does, but... I don't have a whole lot of matches. I only have five left at this point. But I do kind of want to burn this spot right here. Just kind of see. Is there a way underneath or anything? 
Let's see really quick. Let's look around here. If I don't fall off this little slope here. Okay, I don't really think there's a place underneath. I don't know if I should try to burn this hay in here or not. Um, um, let's go right here. I still hear like some sort of female singing in my ear, and that's like not cool. Alright, anyways. Let's come back to this later. I'm sure I'm going to have to come back to this area. So let's move on towards the uh, the church and stuff. Go to Grandpa's grave. That place is just so freaking foggy. It's weird. Alright. There's hay right here too. Does that lead to anywhere? Kind of stops too. Again, I don't... Just like last episode, I don't get the, the lighting of the hay. Mundown is already snow covered. Except the black twin peaks. They never gather any snow. Yeah, they kind of like horns there in the distance. Kind of creepy. Okay, I gotta make sure I pay attention to those A prompts there. Alright. Let's make our way up this path here. Kind of stay away from foggy bottom down there. Gosh, that's so foggy. Alright, anyways, almost ran into a rock there. Alright, let's keep rolling. Wish I had that Mouvelle move in. So I could use it. Oh, wait, I can run. I keep forgetting that. I gotta remember that I can run. Is that for the tunnel? Wait, that was the A prompt. A caplote de Jeremias. Jeremias' chapel. Alright, cool. We'll let's zoom in all the way and see if anything happens here. Alright, nope. Alright, I just got a feeling that I'm being followed. I don't know. But the game's finally starting to get creepy a little bit. Alright, let's see. That takes you to the church. That goes to some place with bees. And the bridge, of course. Um, let's just take a look in here really quick since I'm right here. This doesn't seem to, like, go anywhere. Is that the bee thing right there? I don't know if I want to get close to that. What's this do? Oh. What? What's the point of that? I don't know. What's the point of that? There's a Oshkina sort microphone. Oh, looks like some sort of microphone. <laughs> I thought it was a beehive. <laughs> Maybe it's connected to the opening mechanism for this gate. Okay. Alright, cool artist said that. Alright, that may come in handy later, I guess. I wish this girl would stop singing in my ear. I don't like it at all. Don't like it. Stop singing, lady. What's that? Power lines or something. Seems like one's running down to that. Is that the foggy bottom place? Oh, that's kind of right underneath the uh, church, uh, the cemetery there. All right, I seem to be kind of stuck. I can't move. What is going on here? Um. I'll be right back, because it seems like I've gotten stuck here. All right, so now we're back on this path here. So let's try not to get stuck this time. What I did notice was that um, when I reloaded the game and got back to this point, there's some sort of like vehicle thing that goes up the little cable there, like a little cable car type thing. It's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how to like operate that, but it was like taking off when I first walked in there. Like I got there a little bit earlier than I did uh, last time. Right, let's have a seat here really quick. Kind of collect some stuff. Ooh. I like being here. You can kind of see some stuff. There's like some sort of like gate in between those two buildings that I missed earlier. So I may have to explore that eventually. Let's look around really quick before I hit A to record in my journal. I'm trying to see if there's anything else down there that I missed. Alright, let's get this. Okay, so. Oh, the map has been. He added to it. Okay. 
All right, so it looks like the beehive is up above that tunnel area. Okay. And then I'm in this lookout point right here. All right, cool. All right, that's kind of weird, that little cage area down there, little gate area. All right. All right, let's keep going here. It's weird how I got stuck earlier. All right, can I drop off of this? Okay. And still, that girl is singing in my ear. All right. I wonder if I was supposed to come outside of this gate somehow. I'm scared to get close to these get these uh, like fences. <laughs> scared I'm gonna get stuck. Anyways, all right, let's go on to the church here. Yo, open up, Jeremias. No answer, of course. Okay, J A is on the door, so I wonder if that um, those are actually like the initials of the characters. Um, oh, that's my inventory. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, cause like I think that's Jeremias right there, J. And so I guess the A is his last name, maybe. And then my name is Car Curden. Which I think it says CC on that little cave area there on that page. And that's where, you know, it was his kind of like his hideout place. And then FC is his uh, grandfather, because I think his name is like Florin, because I remember that Lord of the Rings type name. So that's kind of interesting. Actually, go back to the journal real quick. Um, This. Can I hit A on that? No. All right. Anyway, so let me try Jeremias one more time. Jeremias! Oh, I can't open it either. Will I knock again? Nope. All right. Don't want to break into a church. All right. Is there any way I can get... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing right here. I don't think there's a way to jump. Okay. I think I'll go down this way to take me to the cemetery. All right. Oh, there's that little gate area right there. All right, there's a path that way, too. I wonder if I could have come up, like, from that other path down there. All right, church and then the graveyard. Let's go to the graveyard. Let's see if we can get in. All right. Oh, looks like there's some sort of cross key needed. Looks like Jeremy has locked the graveyard. Of course he did. And I have nothing that can go in there. Yep, of course. All right. Well, I guess the only other path to go really now is down this path here. Let's see where it leads. Okay, there's some sort of opening here. Oh man, this is taking me back to Foggy Bottom. Uh, I don't want to go back here. Yeah, it's taking me back to where I was earlier. Oh my goodness, this place is so foggy. So I need to figure out, I, I guess I could try to go back to the church maybe. And just see if Jeremias will let me in. Because I really don't think I need anything down here. I think that door just opened up by itself again. Alright, I might try to burn the hay now that I'm here. I just, I hate to waste uh, my matches. I'm going to really need those later, you know. Alright, let's see. Whoa, what was that? Oh! I can hide in the haystack, so I guess I don't need to burn this. That will that is good to know. Alright. That's cool. Alright, so if I need to hide, try to make it back there if I can. Whoa, hey. Oh, and I can close the door too. Well, how in the heck did it open by itself earlier? That was scary. Alright. Let's just go back to the church. 
and just see if I wonder if I can do something with that microphone too at um, that one area right, anyways let's try the church again first since I'm hitting that way Use run, Ascalon. I keep forgetting I can run. That's gonna come in handy too when there's enemies later. Okay, again, that's the graveyard. All right, let's go back up here. I gotta remember that I can run. It's like every other type of game I play, I like. I'm glad I can run. No. I am stuck. I don't know what I should do at this point. Um, other than try to go back to that microphone. Whoa. What is that up there? Hello, Bobetta. Hey, little girl. Some goats. <laughs> Lovely goats you have. Oh, whoa, she threw something. What is that? Maybe she's going to help me somehow. Oh, what the heck? What is happening? Oh, I'm getting scared a little bit. Little girl, what nice goats you have. You're also very creepy. Did you just move the sun? What? She's like Storm. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, there's another ace but... Oh, I already looked at that before. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. All right, there's some sort of... All right, what is she doing here? That goes into that. Oh, let's pick that up. Some items can be used from the inventory. Use. Some pages in the journal can be looked at closer. Huh, <laughs> nice little drawing, little girl. All right, sun through the cross, down to the graveyard. The little girl sent me this drawing. Something about the shadow of the chapel. So, okay. All right. What does that mean, though? Okay, the light... Where's the sun? It's hard with the, the way this is designed to be able to see like that. Okay. I'm still a little confused. Right, can I talk to her again? I wonder how can I get up to her. Okay, let me go try the, the gate again then and see. Um, I don't fully understand this. But... No, I don't have anything for that, so... Okay. Let's go back up here, then. Okay, the sun is coming right there. I see the light as I'm coming up. So I guess the sun is not in the right place to hit the chapel. Um... But what's the point of that? It doesn't look like I can really, like... What is this? Somebody in there? Why won't he open the door? Hey, bud! Open the door, man! He's just in there chilling. Trying to get in, man. What about this open though? He's got it, like, boarded up or something. It's like he doesn't want people in there. He's standing right there. I know he heard me knock on the door. All right, um, I don't know what to do at this point. I was wondering when I was going to finally get stuck in this game. I wonder about the little car thing, too. Okay. All right, I don't know. Let's see. I 
wonder if there's a way to get to the little girl. Let's go try the, the little bridge with the microphone. If that doesn't work, then I don't know what else to do here. I should look around here first. Well, crap. No, I can't leave. Alright, well. Let me look at that drawing again. Okay, let's see. The light goes through that to the graveyard. So it seems like maybe the light creates the the key that I need. Um, yeah, I know that already. Alright. Well, it won't let me go that way, so... I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, wait. Okay. okay, the shadow of the chapel tower points exactly to this rock. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. In beats up, Jeremias. Nice hiding place, Jeremias. Okay, I figured out what to do a lot quicker than I expected. Ooh, achievement. Praise the sun. All right. Find Jeremias' key. Okay, now let's see if we can go into this place that I don't want to go, and I got enough time to check it out, so let's do it. All right, do I still have that key? Nope, not anymore. All right. So I guess that will close it if I hit A there. All right. That's got like something that looks similar to what was in the house on that one door. I think they all have those. Okay, I'm assuming, yep, this is my grandfather. All right, so let's look around a little bit before we go to that one. I'm just walking all across these people's graves. Hey, XI. Oh, that's initials that I've seen elsewhere before too. Um. AXI. I think it was on. Sorry, I was flipping through that really fast. I think it was one on one of these buildings. It was labeled that um, beforehand. So I guess that's somebody who used to live in the village. All right. Oh gosh. La fosse vita. The grave is empty. No crap, Sherlock, because the body is still in the barn. Apparently, all blackened and charred. Is the grandpa's grave was scratched off. Time to conf confront Father Jeremias the priest. Talk to the priest Jeremias. Okay. So I'll say the same thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so that is how they write their initials. Okay, so that's what those letters I've been seeing represents. F and C. Florin Caminata. This is where Grandpa was supposed to be buried. Okay, so I guess VC might have been Grandma. Oh, you. <laughs> Looks like a V to me. U and C, Ursina Caminata, Grandma's grave. Okay, those bells are getting a little bit annoying. Bing, bong, bing, bong. All right, let's go see if we can talk to Jeremias, and that might be all the time that I have for this episode after we confront him. And I wonder why he's in that, like, church that seems kind of boarded up. All right, let's run. Jeremias, you must answer to whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's open now. What's up, homie? Whoa. What is happening? Oh, gosh. Oh my goodness! What is going on? Oh, I can look around. You again? Man, the dude keeps scaring me. It's always me. Actually, he doesn't sound like that. Thanks for getting me in here. What? He's been following me? Not long ago, I taught some people in Troy a similar trick, so this dude came up with the Trojan horse. Okay. 
Though Paris came up with the Trojan horse idea. Oh gosh. That dude needs to stop that. Okay. Scaring my boy here. Alright, let's close that. I was trying to look at the drawings on the wall, and then the dude decided he wanted to show up. Kudin, what are you doing here? <laughs> he talks funny. Oh no. Please don't tell me I'm stuck again. Oh, I guess I had to continue the conversation. Didn't you get my letter? Okay, it saved. Okay, I thought I was stuck again for a second. I was like, no, please don't make me have to redo all that. All right. Yeah, that's weird that these windows are boarded up like this. All right. What's up, man? Discovered radio frequency 259.3. Is that kilohertz, I guess? Is that right? I don't know. All right, what's that? Oh, greetings, father. Look at his face. <laughs> May the Lord be with you, my son. Choose topics to talk about. Your letter, goodbye, Father. Well, I don't want to say goodbye yet because he must answer to whatever he needs to answer to. I got your letter, Jeremias. You wrote that Grandpa is dead. Dead and buried. Ya liar! The grave is empty. A fire in his barn? It's tragic. Very tragic. You don't seem to care, man. That's my grandfather you're talking about, buddy. The hay must have caught fire. Here I am running around like a little pyromaniac setting hay on fire. Your grandpa and his beloved pipe. Don't you blame it on my grandfather. He must have dozed off. Barricaded windows. Yeah, wooden box, empty grave. I'm gonna hit him with the barricaded windows first, even though I'm very curious about the empty grave. Why are the windows boarded up? <laughs> they will, yes. He's hiding something. It's in case of a storm, there was something on the radio. Wooden box, empty grave. Let's go empty grave. You're lying. I found Grandpa's grave empty. You left him in that charred ruin. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got nothing to say about that, buddy. Confronting you. We tried to recover his body, but we couldn't get in, get to it. Well, how did I get in? The place is cursed. Don't go back there. All right, wooden box. Goodbye, father. I don't remember a wooden box. Aren't those the initials of my grandfather on that wooden box? Yes, F and C with the flower symbol. Florin Caminata. Look. Oh, that wooden box. Okay. I was wondering what that was. I tried to, um, like, choose it earlier and see what was in it. A candle. Ooh, that might be the one I could put in the window of the house. The baptismal candle of your grandfather. You should have it. Light it tonight before you go to sleep. Yep, put it on the window sill, so that's the candle. In remembrance of Florin. I just got a strange feeling that something weird is gonna happen when I do it. I must prepare the summon sermon for Sunday. Stay in your grandfather's house tonight, don't linger. Tomorrow you leave on the first bus. Whoa. Did you see the way he moved down those steps? Wait, Father Jeremias. All right, talk to the priest Jeremias. Put candle on window seal. So I'll probably go back to the house. Let's see, stay overnight in grandpa's house and then save and then we'll do the candle in part four. All right, so there's the candle. All right, can I even get back there? Nope. 
All right, anyways. All right, let's make our way back to the house. Oh, look at my shadow. Cool. The pitchfork's like on my back. All right. Uh-oh, it's getting night. Okay. All right. Let's hurry. Let's follow this candlelit path. This seems like the right thing to do here. Going towards Foggy Bottom. Please, nothing scary happens. All right, it's saved. Oh, I can't move faster. Uh oh. Um. Let's see. Okay. It just saved. So let's end it right here. Um, this episode. All right. Wow. A lot of stuff starting to take place in this game. So that's Mundown Part 3. I'm um, sorry, my leg's itching. <laughs> Alright, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, as always, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. Um, I'll be back pretty soon with Mundown Part 4. This is definitely getting really interesting. So I can't wait to get into the next part. Um, yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Take care. See you soon.